YouTube, it's Kristen. You're watching Chatterbox Budgets. Thank you so much for joining me for a video today. I hope you're all doing well. It is Wednesday, December 29th, 2021. It's about 6.30 a.m. here in Salt Lake City, Utah. I do have to start work at 7, but I wanted to do my video to show you my 2022 planner lineup. I have four planners total, and so we'll just go through them one at a time instead of doing like a stack or whatever. So I am a Franklin planner user. I actually started using them when I was 16, and I am now 44. There was a small, a short, well, I guess about five or six years in the last decade where I didn't use them. And that was because after they closed their retail stores nearest me, um, shopping online at the time was not my favorite thing. <laughs> this was like 2014 or 15. And so I tried some different planners for a while. I have used the Blue Sky planners, the ones you just get at the, like at Walmart or Target. And those worked okay. And at the time when, when, those, when the stores closed nearest me, I, my life had kind of changed. I'd gone from being a sports mom to being the mother of a working teenager. Um, and so I didn't have to keep track of as many things. And so going to a smaller planner wasn't a big deal at the time. I've tried the Erin Condren planners. I've tried the Happy Planners. I've tried the Simplicity Planner. And there's a couple of others I've tried. And none of them work for the way my brain works. And so after many years and a lot of money spent on things, trying to force myself to function the way that those planners would require me to function, I went back to Franklin Planner and I've been back with them since the beginning of 2020. And I have no plans on going to any other planner anytime soon. So this is my personal planner. It's the compact um, and this is the Franklin Covey signature leather cover. It's the compact size. I use the original pattern or style or whatever format and it's the day on two pages. So. The outsides and everything are exactly the same as they've been since July of 2021. Or no, sorry, July of 2020. Um, the only thing that's changed is just the inserts are new and updated for next year. So I've got my inbox here. Okay, and then, so this is, I can't remember what this sheet is called. I guess the title, I don't know what it's called. I don't fill it out because I am planning on doing some photos for my Instagram, and so I don't want any personal information on there. So there's that. And then on the back of that, we have, oh, I guess I should zoom in, huh? Sorry about the shadows to you guys. As you know, the lighting in this place is not the best. So on the back, I've got the full month or the full year for 2022 and for 2023. Then there's the planner quick start guide, which this comes with every planner I've ever purchased from them as far as I remember, at least the last three years. Um, and then there's the holidays and observances. This goes from 2023 up to 2027, which is really nice. Um, I don't plan that far in advance just because I don't have that kind of life, but, <laughs> but the front of it has January through June and then the back has July through December. And then I have my December pages still in here because we're still using them. So when I say it's a day on two pages, there's the, oops, let's see. Okay. So on this side, there's the prioritized daily task list. Daily tracker, this is where I track my spending, and then there's the appointment schedule, and then we have the daily notes on the other side. And so I will usually fill these out at the beginning of the week, and I'll track some other stuff at the bottom and stuff, but I haven't done them this week just because I, with things being as crazy as they have been at work, I haven't really been doing as much as I should in my planners, which will change with the new year, um, I hope. <laughs> so then I've got January. It's exactly the same. The only thing that changes are the they have different quotes every year um at the top so anyway yeah and then we go to the monthly pages and these do have an index page which i don't always use those although i should and then there's the monthly calendar so i keep all 12 months in here at once and then what i do is i'll use post-it notes the little ones um to put stuff on the future months and then that way i can i can transfer it later and then after that, we have the future planning. So it has a month on two pages for 2023. And then there are, oops, these pages are stuck together. And then there's future planning. There's a year on one page for every year up to 2027. So, and then I also get the yearly fold out calendar, which this is handy. The front of it has it as like this, this view, and then the back has it for more of a, well, I don't know what to call these. This is like a list view. But I track my periods, my migraines, my gym attendance, um, all that kind of stuff on here. I usually keep a separate one that I keep track of PTO, personal time off on. But I only bought one for this year, so I'll probably just try to track it all on the same one. 
And then behind that, I use the David Allen getting things done method. Usually right now I'm a little, um, a little disorganized, but back here I've got, this is my reference section. And then I have my financial section and this is where I track my, um, my checking accounts, all my bank accounts actually and my credit cards. And then I track my bill binder, um, spending here. So anyway, so that's the same as it's been. Like I said, the only difference is just, it's, about the next year and then my work planner which I don't necessarily need a work planner because everything I do is digital but I um, I like being able to write out a list every day of things I want to accomplish and then I will mark them off and what I've been doing is the last probably last year I think well let me just show you okay so this is the cover and this is I can't remember the cover is called I'll, sh I'll show you in a second because the tag or the tag right here it's called the Brighton simulated weather cover and I love this. It's my favorite color because gray or silver are my favorite color. Um, but this is the five choices. So the, my personal planner is the ring bound. And then my work planner is the wire bound. So this is the five choices. Um, this is the five choices to extraordinary productivity. And it's the classic size. And I've been using this one. So I started with this one back in January of 2020. And then I used that till July. And I had it all together, work and home in the same planner. And that's back when I was still working in the office up until February of that, or March of that year. And then I decided in July I wanted to have separate planners. So I want to have one for personal use and one for work because I don't, I want them to be separate, especially with working from home. I like to have things separate. And if I need to refer to it, I can because it's just in the other room. So this one has the months at the beginning and it's a month on two pages. And every year comes with, with a new page finder, which is nice. And so it just goes through. And then I do the same thing with this one. I use post-it notes all over the place. And then um, the week on two pages. And so these are not, there's no times on these. And so it's just open. So what I typically do is I'll write my normal tasks for each day and then I'll check them off as I do them or I'll put an X or delete it if I didn't actually do it that day. It's not necessary, but it, I like it because it helps me to gather my thoughts together before I start the day. And then on the bottom, I'll keep track of tasks for the whole week. And then over here on this side, I'll keep track of notes. So for example, if I'm covering for somebody because they're on vacation, I'll write that here. That way, if I come back later and I didn't do my stuff all week long, then I know why. And then I'll usually add extra tasks at the bottom. And then I do take, I have Avery labels that are just tiny square ones. I guess they're square, maybe they're rectangle. Look rectangular, hold on, I drink water. Avery labels that I color with my mild liners and I have them color coded. Um, and then I use those on my monthly calendar as well as my weekly calendar. So that's, that's that. That's that, that. <laughs> that's a lot of that. And this planner cover is kind of small. I mean, that's these wire bound ones. This one's a little bit thicker than the, com the um, what's the other one called? The compass, but it works okay. The pens make it stretch out a little bit, but it's not that big of a deal. So, okay. Then my last, or no, not my last one, my second to last one, so this is a new one for me for 2022, and I'm not sure how it's going to go if I'm actually going to even use it. This is the classic size, and what I did is I ordered the Five Choices Planner in the ring bound because I thought I would want to use that for work. I wanted to be able to have more sections of information, things like that. But after I got it, because I ordered both, after I got it, I was like, ah, I don't think I like this work. I like the wire bound one because then everything's documented together. I don't have to worry about separate pages. So I think what I probably will do is use this one for like YouTube or something. But the difference between the two, besides the fact that this one's ring bound instead of wire bound, is that each month has a notes and index page on the front and then uh, of the month, and then the back of the month has a notes page. And then everything else is the same, although I did add some dividers at the back um, and some lined paper. So that's new for me. I don't know if I'm actually gonna use it. I've been thinking about switching to this size for my personal use. But because I already have spent, invested so much in the compact size and the compact is so easy to throw in my backpack and take with me, I just don't think I'll end up changing. I just can't see myself doing that. This is what my work one looks like during the year. And it's very messy, but I, like I said, I don't decorate. The colors themselves are um, kind of new for me. This is the first year I've done that. But I like it because I have a key for it and then I know what's what. So that's been nice. And then I just keep post-it notes inside and... Okay, so the last one is my budget planner. 
or finance planner, whatever you want to call it. This is my new cover I just bought. This is the eight and a half by 11, so it's the Monarch size planner. And the cover is huge. The rings are two inches. And once I got it, I decided it was probably too big for what I needed. I don't think I thought about it. The ring size, I just wanted the planner cover itself. Because I like the magnetic magnetic front pocket. And then I would like that it have a, has a handle. Wow, I cannot speak. Has a handle. But my favorite part of this was just the insides. So it has a lot of pockets and stuff, which my other one didn't have. But I've been using this planner, the inserts. Um, I've been using this part since September, but because I ordered it in September, I couldn't get the 2021 um, calendars for the Monarch size because they were out of stock. But I have a yearly fold out calendar for this size too. And that's going to be for budgeting, finances, spending, whatever you want to call it. And then I've been printing my own calendars out of Outlook to use for this year. And then for 2022, I have the, I bought the week on two pages, inserts which look like, where are they? Oh, that's right, I couldn't find anything where I thought that it was. So they look like this, they're huge. I was gonna use this for tracking my spending, but I don't know that I'm going to. So this is the month view though, and then there's, this is the month on one page, which I'll use for tracking my scheduled expenses. And then there's indexes for these two, which I thought about putting my bills on here. I'm not sure how I'm gonna handle that. And then I actually might, I actually might glue these or tape these together or whatever. And then there's the month on two pages, which I'll use for my actual spending record, uh, the stickers and stuff that I use. So I have my own worksheets that I created in Excel and printed out that I'm planning on using. And so this one's just kind of put together myself, but I really like this. I like how it's worked so far. Um, I put the cover sheet, whatever this thing's called, in a sheet protector just because I could. And then this one has three years on the calendar. And I went through and I circled all the paydays for this year, or for 2023, okay. At the beginning, I've got like my fees and charges for the year, I've got my pay check record for the year, and then I've got, you know, the, month, the monthly ones are back behind the monthly tabs. So anyway, that's that one. So as you can see, it's not the most um, colorful or creative. In fact, it's definitely not colorful, but I do have a little bit of color in there. So I do use mild liners, I do make my own stickers, and then I actually will use those stickers, the, the Avery original labels. Um, I will use those without color on them too. I use them just plain on my monthly view for my other planners all the time. So, um, yeah, this is how my brain works. I don't, I don't like to decorate. Decorating actually makes me a little bit, um, it stresses me out. So I really like using pen. <laughs> I'm not a fan of whiteout, although I will use correction tape if I have to, but I prefer to use pencil where I can and then I just fix it later so anyway that's my planner lineup um it's not the most exciting but it works for me it works for how my brain works and I do like the fact that I can um rearrange it however I want to at least for my personal planner I may switch to the compact size but every time I start looking at it and the reason I want to not compact I'm sorry classic size classic size just has more options for planners I mean for binders and for inserts but I don't use all the inserts. I've actually, I've, I've tried everything. I've used all the different inserts. I've used all the different um, designs. I've used Seasons. I've used the uh, Monticello. I've used the Her Point of View ones. But my favorite are the original and I like how they, I just like how they look. And with the green pen, I mean the green pen, the green background, the green white background, and then the black pen. I just like how it looks. The new ones, the Carrera, I think. They're, they're gray and white, and so you'd think those would be my favorite because they're my favorite colors, but I tried them and I didn't like them. I prefer the original, which is just funny. But anyway, sorry, that's a lot of rambling about planners, but I just wanted to show you what I'll be using. I may be doing some plan with me's. I'm not quite sure. The, the problem I have is I do mine at the beginning of the week, but I don't fill out a lot because there isn't a lot to schedule. My, my daily routines are the same, pretty much, um, and so I don't have a lot of appointments and things most of the time intentionally I try to keep my life as simple as I can um, but anyway that's we'll see how that goes I may do some and then just put them up there and if people like them great if not then I have them for myself so all right well I'm gonna go to work you guys have a wonderful day take care of yourselves I'll talk to you soon bye